Hi, my question's for Anna Bly. Knowing what you now know about the brutality of being a woman in Australian public life, would you encourage any rational young female to make this their career choice? <laughs> uh, absolutely, I would. And I thank you for the question because really it's one of the main reasons I wrote the book. Uh, I think we need uh, in this country, with all the challenges of this century, the best and brightest. Uh, and to get the best and brightest, we've got to make sure we've got just as many young women as young men putting their hands up to join political parties, to stay in them long enough uh, to get pre-selected and then to go on to those sorts of jobs. Uh, I called my book through the wall because, you know, when you go through the wall of, uh, you know, something like that for the first time and to be the first, of course you get some scratches and cuts on the way through. Uh, I don't want people, I don't want you <laughs> and other young women like you to look at the scratches. I want you to see the hole in the wall and jump <laughs> through it uh, because, you know, it's, it's absolutely critical to the health of, this, of our democracy. And, uh, you know, weighing up, I mean, everybody in public life, male or female, anyone in political life, one of the great things about our democracy is we're, you know, we're allowed to criticise our politicians all day long. We're allowed to put irreverent cartoons of them in the newspaper. You know, that's what our democracy is. And it's not much fun being on the receiving end of it sometimes, <laughs> but it's vastly outweighed. That discomfort is vastly outweighed by the opportunity you get to shape the community that you're part of. And you know, that opportunity to be part of the decision making, to decide you know, what is the direction that you want to take. Knuckle ride, but it's the best one you'll ever have. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Windsor, you were up close to Julia Gillard during that white knuckle ride and, um, and you saw what she was subjected to as a, a female Prime Minister. Would you advise a young woman to take that path? I agree with Anna, I would, uh, because I think women uh, I'm generalising here, but I think women tend to make better politicians than, uh, than the men. Uh, Julia Gillard, uh, to me, was quite an extraordinary uh, individual. And she, I have never seen an individual, uh, man, woman or animal, that was subjected to the uh, issues that she was, particularly in relation to her gender and body shape and a number of other things. But, uh, it was very, very deliberate uh, as a way of uh, destabilising the government. And I understand you know, the nature of a hung parliament. I've been in a couple. Uh, and how you know, the numbers, the, the, the game is to weaken the numbers uh, so that you can change the government. Uh, but she went through some extraordinary abuses. I, I saw her cry once. Uh, but I think she was probably one of the strongest individuals that, uh, that I've ever met and I think she deserves great credit not only for being the first woman Prime Minister but the first woman Prime Minister in the circumstances such as it was uh, with the, the, the brilliance of Abbott in opposition of course and uh, as I said earlier uh, the constant niggling uh, of her own people at her as well and to be able to deal with that circumstance with a hung parliament in both houses was uh, uh, it was quite extraordinary, uh, but she did it well, in my view.